Some types of animals are found in various places throughout the world. For instance, elk live in North America, Asia and Australia among other places. Alternatively other animals are unique to one place. In this video we'll look at animals native to the continent of North America, from reptiles to mammals to insects these animals called North America their home. First we have Gila monster, this reptile is native to the southwestern part of the United States including Arizona and New Mexico. It is named after the Gila River Basin in their southwestern home. Its bumpy black skin featuring pink or yellow splotches makes this lizard hard to overlook. Their total length from snout to tail can add up to just under 2 feet. Though Gila monsters are venomous and can have a painful bite, they are shy and spend the bulk of their time in burrows keeping cool in their desert habitat. They emerge for short periods to look for prey including baby rabbits, birds, and birds' eggs. These reptiles carry a conservation status of near threatened due to habitat loss and poaching. Some people even try to capture them to keep them as pets. Next we American alligator, this North American native lives in the southwestern United States. Specifically they live in freshwater swamps, lakes, and rivers in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. These gators can grow to a length of 16.5 feet from snout to tail. The largest one was recorded at an astounding 19 feet 2 inches. American alligators survive on a diet of fish, frogs, birds, and small mammals. Males sometimes growl or make a bellowing sound to attract female alligators or designate their territory. This reptile has a conservation listing of least concern. Next we have groundhog, did you know this native of North America is a member of the squirrel family? It's the largest member of the squirrel family weighing up to 13 pounds with a body as long as 2 feet. Don't forget it has a tail measuring 7 to 10 inches. The range of the groundhog starts in Canada and extends down ending in the southern portion of the United States. They live in forests where they dig burrows that contain various levels and rooms along with several entrances and exits. This large squirrel, also called a woodchuck, even has its day on the calendar. The celebration takes place every year in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, in the United States. Next we have Luna Moth, the Luna Moth also called the Moon Moth is unique in many ways. For one, it's unique to North America. Its range includes forests in southeastern Canada and the eastern United States extending from Florida up to Maine. They are abundant in the state of South Carolina. Another thing that makes this moth unique is its appearance. It has a wingspan of 3 to 4 and a half inches as well as long tails on its lower wings. Also it is pale green to yellow with eye spots that can be a mixture of black, brown, blue and red. The eye spots are not only pretty to look at but they also serve as a defense against predators. When a predator sees the large eye spots on the luna moth's wings it thinks it's dealing with a large animal instead of a relatively small moth. Next we have Hawaiian monk seal, the Hawaiian monk seal is unique to the northwestern Hawaiian islands. This seal weighs from 300 to 600 pounds and can grow as long as 8 feet. Though they can be seen lying on beaches to sun themselves but they swim in the ocean most of the time. These seals live on a diet of fish, eels, and squid. There are less than 1,000 of these North American natives left in existence. It is considered endangered with a decreasing population. This wildlife is threatened by the loss of its habitat. Also these unique seals are prone to get caught in commercial fishing nets that are set for other types of fish and sea life. Seals that become entangled in commercial fishing nets usually die as a result. Next we have black-footed ferret, these animals are the only ferret species unique to North America. They live in Canada, the southwestern portion of the United States, and down into Mexico. These ferrets live in burrows in a grassland habitat. They also live in abandoned prairie dog burrows. This is convenient because they eat prairie dogs. Prairie dogs are the main element in their diet. A black-footed ferret has a slender body covered in cream-colored fur with black on its back, legs and the tip of its tail. It also has a partial black mask that makes it look a little like a raccoon. Its small ears stand up on both sides of its head. Adult black-footed ferrets can be 2 feet long with a weight of up to 2 and a half pounds. They are solidly built to move through their burrows with ease. Unfortunately these nocturnal mammals are considered endangered and have a decreasing population. Next we have pronghorn, pronghorn are wildlife native to North America specifically Canada, the central and western parts of the United States and Mexico. They live in deserts, plains and grasslands. Their reddish brown coat and horns make them look like antelopes. However they're not true antelopes. Antelopes and pronghorn belong to two different families. Both male and female adult pronghorn weigh around 100 pounds. They both grow to a height of 35 to 40 inches at the shoulder. 
Pronghorn can run through their grassland habitat at speeds of 50 miles per hour. These mammals have a conservation listing of least concern with a stable population. Next we have American bison. American bison are unique to Canada and the western portion of the United States. There is a large population of them in Yellowstone National Park. The hump on the back of this animal is one of its many notable features. These bison have short, curved horns along with a thick coat of dark brown fur. An adult American bison can reach a height of six and a half feet from the top of its hump to its hooves. Furthermore they can measure 12.5 feet in length. No wonder it's the largest mammal in North America. Next we have American black bear. The American black bear is a must-have on any list of wildlife native to North America. They live in Canada and throughout the United States in forested areas. Idaho, Oregon, California, and Washington state all have especially large populations of American black bears. While many American black bears have black fur, some have a brown coat or even fur the color of cinnamon. They are around 6 feet long and weigh from 200 to 600 pounds. American black bears have short claws that help them to climb trees. They can run at a speed of 40 miles per hour. Looking at their conservation status, they have an increasing population and are listed as least concern. Lastly we have bald eagle, since 1782, the bald eagle has been the symbol of the United States. So, it's not surprising that this bird is unique to North America. They live in areas all over the United States and Canada as well. Their territory even stretches into Mexico. Bald eagles have a forest habitat and usually make their home near a body of water where they can hunt for fish, snakes, and frogs. This eagle is easy to recognize with its head of pure white feathers, the dark brown feathers on its body, and bright yellow beak. It has a wingspan of up to 7 feet. They can glide effortlessly through the air while looking for prey from great heights. Their conservation listing is least concern, and these birds have a population that's growing. Please like this video and support our channel by subscribing to the channel. Thank for watching.